Hi E6, so for today, this video is gonna help you go through the area model and how we can use the area model to help, so to help solve multiplication problems. So when we do the area model, the first thing that we need to do, so we need to make a rectangular shape like this. It's gonna be helping us when we start to actually find out what the multiplication is. So along this long side here, I'm gonna use the larger number, which is 152, and I'm gonna split it up into its place value like this. So this part here is gonna represent 100, this part here represents 50, and this part here represents 2. Along this side here is going to be the smaller number, so I'm going to split into its place value being 70 and 6. Now, I'm going to create some lines going across there, so I've split 76 two different times. So now I've got the 70 and the 6 going along there. The 152, I've split it three times, so I'm going to go along here, split it there, and along here, and split it there as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these nice round numbers to try and help me do some multiplication. So I'm going to start here in the large box. I know that 7 times 100 is 700. So if I've got 70 and I've got an extra 0, that means that I know that the answer is going to be 7,000. Because 7 times 1 is 7. And when I've got zeros like this, like we talked about before, I can add the zeros after when I multiply my number. So I've got 7,000 worth in that part there. I'm now going to go across and I'm going to continue to work on the 70. I'm going to go 70 multiplied by the 50. So I know that 7 times 5 is 35. And I can see there that I've got two zeros. So I'm going to add those two zeros to the end. 7 times 5 is 35. The two zeros, I add them there. That's going to be 3,500 worth in that box there. My next part is going to be 70 multiplied by 2. I know that 7 times 2 is 14. And I've got one extra zero here, which means that I'm going to have 140 for the total in that box there. My next part that I'm going to have a look at now is going along the bottom here. I'm going to multiply 6 now by 100. So 6 times 100 is 600. I know my next part here is 6 times 50. I know that 6 times 5 is 30. And I've got one extra zero there, which means I've got... 300 as the total in that box here. The next part I'm going to do is I'm going to go 6 times 2, which is 12. Now that I've filled up all of these spaces here, I can now add these numbers together. So I'm going to say there, I know that 7,000 plus 3,500 equals 10,500. So I've got those two added up. I can see 600 here, I'm going to add that to here. So 10,500 plus 600 equals 11,100. I've used the 600. My next part I need to add up is I need to add up, I'm going to add the 300 here. Adding 300 to my total, 11,400. I've used the 300. I'm now going to add 140. So 11,400 plus 140 is 11,540. I've used that. The last one I need to add is I need to add the 12. 11,552. That's my total. So using the area model, it helps you break up the total of the multiplication and make it a bit easier for yourselves, multiplying by nice round numbers. And the last step is after you've filled up the boxes and done all the multiplication, you just need to make sure that you add all the totals inside the boxes together to get to your answer. Hope this helps.